Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike and we're back with Mobox and I'm gonna show you something that's not a sexy uh, logo intro tutorial. I'm just gonna show you how to export in After Effects as a GIF. So <clears throat> what you're gonna need is you're actually gonna need After Effects and you're also gonna need Adobe Media Encoder which comes with After Effects CEC. So if you have like the latest version of After Effects, you have to go through Creative Cloud in which the media coder is available to you for free. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna download that first. And I think you actually may even need that to even have After Effects nowadays. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm in here in After Effects and what I like to do uh, is post um, my animations on Twitter. And I think the best way is through animated GIFs. You could use Giphy, you could upload it to Giphy. Um, other people could share it and it's kind of a cool, I, I don't know, GIFs are just fun, shareable little nuggets of, of, of information. So what I'm gonna first do is this clip here is rendered in 60 frames a second and you just can't do 60 frames a second in uh, as a GIF. In fact, if you try to do it, it'll export it at about one frame a second for some reason. And if you increase the frame rate um, to 25, it just is really slow and sluggish. So the first thing I like to do is I like to make a new composition. Um, I like to make it square. 1080 by 1080 works. Um, you might want to go maybe 840 by 840 if you're if you want to conserve space, depending on the platform that you're that you're serving on. You and then you want to change this to 25 or 30 actually 25 or 50, um, but 25 is kind of a cool um, giphy, you know, frame rate. And you want to change the duration to whatever you think. So I'm going to change this to maybe, um, maybe four or five, um, just depending on, on how long your animation is. I like to keep it short, keep the information down so you could share it on Twitter and stuff like that. I'm going to set, set it to five. And then I'm just going to, so it's comp three that I want. I'm just gonna drag comp three onto this and I'm gonna scale it down just until it, it fits. And now I'm gonna see how that looks. So that looks pretty good. Um, again, it's, you know, it's pretty low resolution, but you know, for Twitter, it's, it's good enough and to share with your friends. So we're just gonna watch this, just make sure. You know, it doesn't look half bad. So what I also like to do personally, I like to add my own um, YouTube link just so people know where to find out how to make this. You know, in 480 by 480, it might be too small. You might want to make it bigger. You can do 1080 by 1080, but you're really kind of pushing the limits of, um, of the size that you want to do. So now what you're gonna do is go to composition, um, add to media encoder, and it will open the media encoder. So I'm running the 2017 version of Adobe uh, After Effects and media encoder. What's weird is that it doesn't automatically jump here. It kind of takes a second. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up to here and go to, whoa, not that. You're gonna want to go here to this arrow and go to animated GIF. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come here and you're going to change the settings. So the settings are pretty good already in the latest version of After Effects. You don't really have to change that much. Um, you'll see here that the width was changed to 240. I think it was at 480. Um, let me just double check in After Effects. Yeah, so it's set to 480. So I'm gonna make it 480 by 480. Um, so just uncheck this box and change that. Um, the frame rate is set to 25 already, so that's good. This you want to set to be progressive, which is good. Um, and this is square pixel, which you want, which is good. If those aren't, you want to uncheck these box and change it. Um, render at maximum depth. And you can do maximum render quality. It will increase the render time. Um, for this example, I won't, I'm not going to do that. And then I'm just going to save this to the desktop. Um, and name it mobox.x.gif and it's already set. So you just hit okay and you come up here to this this start queue button and you just click that and this will render it out. You could render everything in this render queue. You could render um, After Effects, uh, 
you know, compositions. You could render Premiere Pro compositions in here. For some things it's faster, for some things it's slower, um, but it just depends on, on what you're doing. So now when I come here and I double click this, you'll see that my GIF has been created. And again, it's low resolution, 480 by 480. You can make it a thousand by a thousand, but it just increases the size. Um, but this is easily shareable to Twitter. So you'll see, uh, you'll see right then, no problem. And it loads real fast and it's right in the feed, no problem. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you learned something, be sure to subscribe. There's tons of more videos on the way so you can learn everything you need to know about After Effects. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.